Hi there, Chris from Toast for EV, here I'm doing a dedicated audio review of the Peugeot 508. If you want a detailed review of the vehicle itself, make sure you check it out on your pop banner or by following the links down in the description below. Now to kick things off, we have to talk about its audio configuration. And here, as standard in the Allure and the GT trims, you have got an eight speaker setup. You have got woofers that are found within each of the four doors and also tweeters that are found within each of the four doors. If, however, you want to up the ante, you might want to go for the GT trim and add a £900 option or go for the top spec PSE model because this will give you a 10 speaker full cal audio system that outputs 690 watts. In comparison to what I've just mentioned before, you've got a central speaker and also you've got a side mounted subwoofer that's found within the boot. Now, if you do want to adjust these settings, at least in the Focal audio system, you'll want to navigate on the 10 inch infotainment system. And here I've left the focus on all passengers, added one notch to treble, one notch to mid range and two notches to bass. I've also added one notch to central speaker and also the subwoofer. Although the latter over here is very much subjective. So you might want to go for two notches if you're a bit more of a bass head. Now for you to connect up to the infotainment system, you have got Bluetooth, although you will be limited to the lowest quality SBC codec, but thankfully you've got both wired and wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, both of which are very much appreciated and allows you to output higher quality audio, at least if you're playing music directly from your smartphone. Moving swiftly on, we get onto cabin noise. And here the objective measurements that were recorded using a sound meter will be on your screen. And for those who are subscribed, you will be very much aware that at higher speeds, the vehicle doesn't actually perform all that well. And indeed, subjectively, I can say that while driving on the motorway, it did feel a little bit louder than it should be, be it with or without the engine engaged. Now, this could in part be to the fact that I'm driving the PSE model, which has those larger wheels and therefore smaller tire walls. And of course, this will affect the overall road noise that one might be able to attain. So it's just worth considering this if you're comparing and contrasting between the models. If you can go for the smaller sized rims, here you might be able to get slightly lower rolling noise. Now with all that said and done, let's go on to an audio demo. I'll be placing the camera and microphone in four separate locations and playing back a track. It's from Priya J and it's titled Like Me. Now, I appreciate an audio demo over YouTube isn't quite ideal. It's going to be compressed on YouTube and it's using my microphones. But nonetheless, I thought to provide it as it gives you a bit of a taster as to what to expect. Now, subjectively, having of course sat within the vehicle, I can say that the overall sub bass extension is there. And this is due to the fact that you've got that side mounted subwoofer in the boot, at least with the Focal audio system. It does do actually a tremendous job of extending those lows and it doesn't sound cut off either in comparison to some of the other subwoofers out there on the market. Of course, those that are provided by manufacturers rather than the aftermarket solutions. And in this respect, you might want to add a few notches via the subwoofer EQ in other words to get that extra little bit of low end rumble, which will very much be appreciated for those people who like listening to EDM, DMB or R&B tracks. Now, as for the overall mid bass impact, it's certainly there, both at the front and rear of the cabin. This is due to the woofers that are positioned within each of the four doors, doing a pretty good job of giving you a good amount of control and also a good amount of quantity as well. Of course, you can EQ the bass via the infotainment system if you feel that it's a bit too much for your liking. Now, as for the mid-range, it is yet again pretty impressive. It is a little bit pushed back and recessed in comparison to some more class-leading audio file systems out there on the market, but in the grander scheme of things, I don't have any major complaints. Now, if you were to adjust the mid-range EQ via the infotainment system, do bear in mind that it will take away from the overall accuracy. So if you go over one to two notches, you might find that the overall accuracy that the artist is actually trying to reproduce is actually going further away from what you're actually listening to. So here it's just something that you might want to consider. 
As for the high-end extension, in other words, the treble, it's actually very much there. This is due to the fact that you have got those tweeters that are positioned within each of the four doors, therefore giving you a lively sound signature, be it if you're sat at the front or rear of the cabin. Now, as for the overall soundstage, here it does a decent job. It's not exactly the best out there on the market, but in comparison to some of the stock audio systems out there, including the one that is available in the Peugeot 508, in other words, the eight speaking configuration, the Foucault system does go that one step further. And this is due to the fact that you've got that center audio driver that's positioned within the dashboard. Now, it's not gonna really affect those who are sat at the back, but for those who are sat at the front, it's very much appreciated. It gives you an extra degree of width and depth and a little bit better instrument separation. Now what I'm trying to say over here is that the audio system that's comprised within the 508, specifically the Focal 10 speaker 690 watt system, is actually pretty impressive and as a result of this gets our performance award. However it's not exactly best out there on the market and there might be some other aftermarket solutions that you might want to consider at least if you're going for the Peugeot. Now we'd be curious to know what you make of the 508 system down in the comment section below and how you feel it compares to some of its key competitors. If you've enjoyed this detailed independent review, definitely do consider dropping a like, subscribing and hitting that bell notification, all of which would be greatly appreciated. As such, I've been Chris from Totally EV and I hopefully see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.